I'm Amanda Pattison, Product Specialist for Industrial Controls, Sensor, and Safety at Werner Electric Supply. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new IO-Link Hub by Rockwell Automation. Let's start with some background information on what IO-Link is. IO-Link is a worldwide open standard protocol which allows an IO-Link enabled smart device to integrate directly into your control system. IO-Link allows smart field devices to be visible on Ethernet IP and enables you to get diagnostic information such as temperature, margin, gain, or a trigger, which can be used in your application. The IO-Link system consists of the IO-Link enabled device, an IO-Link master module, and a standard three-wire cable. Please note that no special cables are needed. The add-on profile for the IO-Link master modules in Studio 5000 allows you to easily integrate your IO-Link devices into your control system. Typically, you'll want to use IO-Link enabled smart sensors in critical applications for additional detailed diagnostic information. However, not all of the sensors on your machine are critical. When the IO performance is not critical, you can get by with a standard discrete sensor. For those applications where you have a mix of IO-Link smart sensors and standard sensors, IO-Link hubs can be utilized. The IO-Link hub allows you to wire in standard field devices to an existing IO-Link master. Let's take a look at a possible topology where IO-Link hubs are utilized for standard sensors. Here we have a CompactLogix controller communicating via Ethernet to an IO-Link master. We have a couple of IO-Link enabled smart sensors connected. We also have two IO-Link hubs connected to the open ports of the IO-Link master. Standard discrete sensors are connected to these hubs. Utilizing this topology with IO-Link hubs allows you to add additional discrete IO into your control system without having to add additional discrete IO cards. This will allow you to save time in wiring and installation costs. There are three variant options for IO-Link hubs, 16 standard digital inputs, 10 digital inputs with six digital outputs, and finally 16 universal digital IO. The IO-Link hub comes with nickel plated brass housing, which is rated to IP65, 67, or 69K. It has port LEDs for diagnostics and supports Premier integration through the IO-Link master add-on profile in Logix. Let's see how an IO-Link hub will look when added to Studio 5000 through the add-on profile. I'm just going to open the IO-Link master module in my IO tree. Click on IO-Link. Notice I've already added the IO-Link hub into the IO-Link master module under channel 2. For demo purposes, I have the 16 digital input module. I highlight the 1732 IL and it brings up where you can configure the IO-Link hub. The common tab right here, right when you open up the device, shows you ven the vendor description, your device part number, and other vendor information and device ID information. The identification tab, also, I'm not online, but if I was online with the device, the vendor name, vendor text, all this information would appear. It's just more vendor identification information. The parameter tab is where you can actually configure different parameters within the IO-Link hub. The operation configuration, it'll have your serial number and your electrical ID node tag and your module identification ID. Um, filter time specifies the filter time for each input. We'll scroll down. Your signal extension is the minimum time that the input stays in one value before switching to another value. Um, this is a rewrite, so you can change it anywhere from 0.5 milliseconds up to three milliseconds. Your logic setting, you can change whether your input is gonna be normally open or normally closed. So you can actually invert a normally open sensor to normally closed based on your application specifications. Under the diagnosis tab, this this tab gives you diagnostic information and you can also restore your factory settings to your device through the diagnosis tab. I'm gonna hit apply and click okay. 
I'm gonna go online with my project. I'm gonna show you what the controller tags look like that you receive when you use an IO-Link hub. I have a 42JT sensor connected to channel zero of the IO-Link hub. So I'm gonna open up the channel zero, cha or channel zero through channel seven right here. And when I trigger this sensor, it triggers that discrete signal on there. If you'd like to learn more about the new IO-Link hub from Rockwell Automation, please contact your local Werner Electric sales representative.